We are here in Elk Rapids at the Shorts Bottling Facility in the Pole Barn with the man himself, Mr. Joe Short. What does it mean to the, the craft brewing industry as a whole in Michigan and to Shorts specifically to keep the water clean and to protect the Great Lakes? So people wanna, wanna come to Michigan, they wanna recreate, they wanna experience nature. A big part of that nature is you know, our, our water. It just provides us so much opportunity to have fun and enjoy what Mother Nature's given us. What is Line 5 and why should I be concerned about it? Line 5 is a uh, shortcut to basically provide uh, Canada raw crude oil and it goes through the Straits of Mackinac. The danger of uh, basically it's an outdated pipeline and it could corrode and leak at any moment in time and it would devastate our economy and our fresh water. It would make it not fun to come to Michigan. What deal is so good that is worth more than the largest collection of fresh water on the entire planet? What deal? Like, can you put an, a value on that? What are you and, and some of your colleagues doing about Line 5? So the Brewers Guild is, is one, I guess, group of, uh, you know, my colleagues, my brewing professionals, where we've adopted a stance on Line 5 uh, as a guild. So, you know, over 300 breweries are part of that guild, Michigan breweries and we, uh, we want it gone. What are some of the um, pieces of propaganda that get out there to help the public misconception of what Line 5 is? The company that owns the pipeline, Enbridge, they have essentially purchased you know, as much of the message they can manage. Enbridge has the ability to control that message. You know, they're buying ad space on you know, NPR and major media stations that are really um, influencing what people are able to uh, be exposed to. And the message is, you know, we need, we need the pipeline, we're providing jobs, tax-paying jobs, well, I think it's like 150 people that work at Enbridge. Um, and the Great if we Lakes. continue to employ Enbridge, then the 150 people that Shorts employs goes away. So it's a net zero argument. You're a father. Yep. I remember when you became a dad, you brewed a beer called Good Humans. What does it mean to you to be a part of a community where you feel like you get to be surrounded by good humans who are doing good work that inspires you to do good work? Yeah, I mean, I think that's every human being's dream, to be able to, you know, enjoy what, this life that we're given on planet Earth, be surrounded by people who care, who make selfless decisions that impact the greater good. You know, we get to go to work every day and work with people I care about and produce uh, products that I'm proud of, uh, that I get to share with. And the byproduct of that is, you know, we, we employ a, a large team and uh, that team, you know, continues to contribute great in the community. It's a full circle. We're a for-profit company, but really everything that we have left over goes back into our, our people and our communities and projects that we believe in. Always great to hang with you. See, brother. Beautiful. Keep up the good work. You too. Together. Man, this water's delicious. <laughs>